Hey, this is Abhas Kashyap, and uh, I've studied uh, my engineering. I've done my engineering from Jaipur College of Engineering, from Electrical and Electronics, and right now I'm working as a trainee design scientist in UC. Tell us about the different stages that you went through during the process of your. Uh, so basically, it was really very interesting, and uh, it was a long process. Like uh, just to give you a rough estimation, it uh, somewhere lasted around 22 hours. So no need to freak out uh, regarding that particular thing, but uh, yeah, still. So initially, it's a two-day process. So first day, uh, there is an aptitude test, which uh, contains like basic questions of bar gra graphs and pie charts and all those things, and uh, like a few normal questions which we get in general aptitude for. And so that was the first day. So there were 15 questions, and the time allotted was 25 minutes. So according to that, uh, the results were generated, and we are called for the next uh, for the next few rounds on the another day. That is the next day. The next day it was um, more interesting because, and anyways, I was selected from our off campus, so there was a lot huge of crowd. So I was even freaked out looking at the number of crowds there. But again, on the second day, the first round which we went through was uh, was regarding uh, pseudo code and as well as uh, case studies. So it was a written round. So basically, pseudo code was that you generate particular code. I mean, they have given you a sets of uh, set of commands. According to that, you have to predict the output. So, uh, like uh, the people from non-IT background might just think about that. Okay, by just seeing the code, that how can we predict the output? So it was the same with the case with me. So for in my example, I had to like give uh, two outputs. I was not sure about the other one. So in that particular case, what I did was I gave uh, sort of comments for each and every line of course which were written there. So at least the music my people they came to know that okay like this guy is aware about what is happening in the program. So it's thus that your approach should be correct. It's not the output only that matters. I'm not saying that it might be the same for everyone. It's not that you, you should not come complaining that okay dude I wrote the commands and I didn't got selected. You told me something like that. So it's nothing like that. But again it depends on how well you are able to explain yourself in uh, each and every field. This was the first thing. The second one was uh, as I told you the case studies. So in my example, they made me a like a Wi-Fi provider. So they told that okay, you have uh, three uh, three details of the customers available with you. So what all details you might need and how it might help, and what all things you will be able to predict. So this was the thing. Like the questions will be uh, so completely related to your real life scenarios. I mean, you would be easily able to relate it. Like. You are, you might be like everyone might be using this Wi-Fi thing, so you can easily relate to yourself that okay, why if uh, I'm the Wi-Fi provider, I might need uh, I might need the IP address of the customers, their name, their details, their contacts, some sort of uh, personal details like bank card and all those things. So this was the first round basically. After that was a video synthesis round. So basically, video synthesis means that they will show you a particular video like uh, uh, somewhere around eight to ten minutes. According to that, you have to frame the whole video. Like within 12 points, so it's like how uh, how well you uh, you were able to capture that video in your mind and synthesize that particular video in just 12 points. All that matters is this particular thing that what is your approach to the video. I don't know their marking scheme or uh, selection pattern that what they focus on a particular uh, thing, but that's how it goes. Like you should show like your answer should be something that. Uh, the company should feel that okay, you are some sort of asset to that particular company. Then uh, after this, there was a GD round, which for me was again uh, based on the video synthesis topic itself. So again, they were asking uh, the actually the topic was that the Dheeraj, or my founder of the company, he had uh, showed the whole particular set of uh, using my belief and their custom and their working pattern. So the again the GD round was based on that particular thing that what do you think that Musima would be able to perform well on the same beliefs and all sort of things. So after the after clearing this round, well this round was cleared like uh, I went in 7:30 in the morning and this round uh, got over by 7 in the evening. Uh, uh, after this there were two more rounds. One was the technical one, other was the acha. So depending on the grades which you got in the previous rounds, so according to that. Uh, uh, the questions in the technical rounds were uh, like uh, asked. The questions were very generic, like from proving the proving the Pythagoras theorem to something like uh, case studies. In uh, so, like I give you an example of a case study. 
So uh, case study was asked that suppose like as we all know that Nokia is like declining in the market. So they asked me that okay if Nokia comes as a client to you and uh, what sort of recommendations will you give to that particular uh, company? So I was like uh, uh, the only thing which I don't see is Nokia is not dealing with Android. So that might not be correct. I'm just quoting an example that you need to see that okay what Nokia business is. what the uh, at the same time what their competitors are doing and you just need to create a relation or comparison in your mind and then uh, just say a few points so this was again uh, again in my uh, the next was the hr round so for me again i was quite lucky because i was again given a case studies and i think i am pretty good at that so again the case studies for the last round was regarding uh, if a particular mobile company wants to launch a triangular shaped mobile phone so it was a quite uh, interesting thing to just think about it so uh, i was like uh, i thought for terms and uh, it was like uh, your point should be uh, relevant so that the company who has come to you they should think on this particular thing on your points before they start the production so basically the uh, points which i gave which came to my mind within that 10 minutes was uh, first of all things like uh, It's a three-pointed sort of mobile phone. It will be very difficult for uh, for everyone to carry because we are like used to this rectangular uh, phone. Then I told that uh, the space, the design, the basic point which they were convinced was when I told them that uh, the uh, the hardware which is like right now designed is for uh, this particular thing, for the rectangular thing. And if they change it, and for suppose if it doesn't work. because if they are changing it into uh, like triangular thing they will be changing each and everything because nothing in market exists for a triangular phone so if that fails like they really have to pay a lot of price so they, so they found this particular point quite convincing because they said me and that's how the process ended like at uh, around 5 uh, in the morning so it was a long 22 hours process as i already mentioned but it was yes it was a lifetime experience and uh, it was very nice so how is the recruitment process of new sigma different from other companies like i already told you that uh, there was this long uh, things uh, long processes and there were so many steps and uh, basically the thing is that what new sigma does is they believe in uh, like learning over knowing So it's not that you know a particular software and you'll be working on the software for entire uh, for your lifetime. So it's like uh, uh, for me, uh, like I've been five months in New Sigma, like more than five months, five months, two weeks, I guess. And I've already worked on three to four softwares. And it's not that uh, like I'm very uh, pretty good at that particular thing, but yes, you need to do that. And they basically they do this particular stuff only that in their recruitment process they try to find out that whether okay. whether you will be able to deal with the, this particular pace of learning or knowing so there is not a particular just apt just to take the aptitude just take the technical and is done like the processes which i described defined right now it was like to judge your business mind how uh, well are you able to react to a particular problem how can you interrelate between markets and the trends which is there so what might be your approach how efficient your approach is so basically uh, they bring case studies into picture for this particular reason so like yeah this uh, this way it's uh, quite different from other companies uh what are the areas of strength in a particular can- candidate that new sigma looks at um again uh, like uh, as i told you in the beginning like my profile the profile they uh, offer is like trainee decision scientist so uh, basically there's a dif- uh, the decision scientist is like uh, they have to understand the whole market they have to understand the problem they just don't have to create a analysis detail on a particular solution um now it's like it's a combination of each and everything because uh, i won't say that any particular thing is marketing like uh, for each and everything uh, like when you enter new sigma uh, you might be handling some clients for which marketing might not be that important because they are well established sort of companies and uh, uh they have their own because there are some companies you know what that they have their own divisions for each and everything 
while the other, at the other end there are some companies that uh, they are not financially that strong and they might not be having decisions for each and everything so you need to find so that's what the the particular employee needs to understand that what company wants from them it's not that what they can provide it's what that what what company wants like sometimes we are in a phase that we pitch them projects like they don't bring the projects to us we pitch them that saying that dude you don't have this particular thing we can provide you this particular thing so an employee should be in that particular condition that he is able to catch that particular thing that where a company is lacking in a particular situation so that's how the approach should go right uh, in your different rounds of interview can you take us through some of the interesting things that was that were asked okay yeah. so for me uh, they asked this uh, to prove pythagoras theorem so they asked me to prove it in three ways so i was like a bit uh, i was uh, thinking about that particular thing i knew the one process which we did in uh, which was there in the ncrt books concept so they said that uh, don't even think about that <laughs> come with something else <laughs> so uh, i want to be describing the whole pythagoras theorem how to prove that particular thing but this was a uh, really nice question the other thing was by the way i did that <laughs> so other thing was regarding the case studies so case studies was like uh, generally everyone goes to a mall you go and you just uh, like uh, if we go to a mall like 100 times we hardly go to buy things for 20 times just go to roam about for another 80 times so there was this question that okay whether a nike wants to take a section of a particular mall and they come to you come to you that how should we place our products how should we do things so now in this particular thing like how you are observing thing around you makes a lot of difference for you like if you are if you have been to a mall you have seen an uh, where this nike shoes are placed so you see generally that okay there are posters of like celebrities or sports persons then they care uh, where the football shoes are kept they keep this football or some sort of something then manchester united posters and those things so if you are able to observe the things around you in an environment it's missing by something like yeah it's about how can you can relate with uh, things that is there in the environment so you have to be a good observer in that particular case so by this case study i was able to like relate that particular thing in to my thing and uh, again video synthesis was something new because uh, understanding the whole hierarchy and belief of uh, like mu sigma and just framing it into 12 points so it was a quite good experience for me at that particular point also uh, so yeah this were a few, few okay. things that was quite interesting what was the uh, number of offers that the company extended to students at your college uh, at my college uh, they recruited 33 students and in the general scenarios also like uh, other than that if they have a particular patch up with some colleges or else they generally recruit to students between 30 to 50 i guess even uh, in the off campus where i went like there were a, there was a crowd of somewhere around 3000 to 4000 it was the first off campus day when the people were from bits uh, iit then manipal velour uh, and then also they t- uh, took students somewhere around 40 So, like again, from that particular whole crowd of four thousand, they selected forty. So it's like they generally pick students like between, I guess, thirty to fifty. So that's their average count. So, uh, what are the tips that you would like to give an a student who's, who wants to get into music? Look, first of all, uh, talking about uh, feel uh, you should have for joining this company, that particular thing. Like, for suppose. If you are into some other corporate world, you will be doing a set of thing in a set of manner where you will be handled by a few people on the top of you. In Mu Sigma, it is like uh, sometimes you will feel that you are owning the project as well as. For me, I even got a feeling that I am owning the company, my client's company. So this is the involvement you uh, like. You will have. at this extent that you will be able to link yourself to that particular company so you know this is like uh, quite interesting and it's really nice so if you are something like uh, able to link yourself you should be in that condition that it should not be just a work for you like you should enjoy that particular thing you should be you should try to make yourself a part of thing so if that is inside you that okay you can become a part of something in a interesting manner then i think 
that is what that's what required in using mark other than that uh, for obviously if you are some somewhere related like you wanted to do a business like in coming 3 to 4 years then i think music mark will be a very good platform because within 3 to 4 years you will be dealing with so many problems with so many different sectors like it might be from telecom from retail from um, like uh, chips companies uh, company providing chips giving uh, cloud networking cloud softwares and uh, providing services all those things so we working in so many different sectors that you will get a complete idea about how the market is going so basically if you want to step into the market as a as an entrepreneur or a business or your own business i think it's a very good platform to understand things